You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. What's up, bro? <laughs> are you flipping it inside out, man? <laughs> what happened? Why'd you have to flip it? Oh, you didn't know it was inside out? Oh, I like it. Now we're there. Hello. Hi. Hello. This is Steve Hello. That's funny. Yeah, dude. You have pretty good feet, huh? You don't like your feet? Ah, I don't feel strongly one way or the other. Uh, uh, about your feet, you have no opinion yeah, about it? I feel like you're being mean to them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Those are pretty normal feet. You yeah, have fucking, you have such ugly have feet, dude. Feet. Yeah, so don't yeah, yeah. comment about other okay. people's feet. Uh, I want this to come towards me. George, George, get, get on it. Start spreading the, the news. news. Steve-O is here. You don't like that chair, dude? So when do we start? Yeah, can I, can, can I tell my story? I have a story I wanted to tell about. Nah. We already started. Oh, yeah, okay, this great, is how great. we start. This is how we start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, can we do this? Um, what, what? Can we all tell stories? Can we all talk? You know, when we talk, can we all talk? Yeah. Because we'll do I don't like what you just did. What I just do? You guys, com you completely ignored me. Who the fuck are you talking to? We didn't do. He was talking, then you interrupted him, and you wanted to tell a story, and nobody gave a fuck about your shit story. He had to finish what he was saying. He don't do a, Why forgot. did you do a pause? I, I already forgot. I'm. I'm <laughs> I, know, yeah, I know. Quite. <laughs> what? Dude, I'm quite exhausted. What'd you do today? Yeah. Um, I just w was in the edit bay all day. Well, oh, for your own shit. Yeah. It's yeah. A, Movie. On, what is it? No, no. I was working on a YouTube video called "My Ten Craziest Arrests." Oh, that's right. Yeah, top ten. Top not, ten. Not not all. How many times have not you been all. arrested? Uh, I mean, really. <laughs> About fourteen, maybe it's the twelve to fourteen Jeez. times you've been arrested. Yeah. How many times you've been arrested? None. Jules? <laughs> Zero. Zero. No. You've been arrested? Yeah. For what? Urinating in public, uh -huh. and then disorderly conduct, fighting, getting. We got a, a bunch of people got arrested for being in a fight. It's college. Oh, I see. I wasn't. I didn't get I, arrested you know, for anything I, real. Maybe. More oh, I bit a bat. bat. I bit a bat. You got arrested for biting a bat, or you just want to talk about biting a bat? No, I, I, I got arrested for biting a bat. How? What do you? I was Ozzy a Osborne. I started the COVID. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just, I just remembered one. Yeah. I mean, it was rather insignificant, but it technically counted as an arrest. I was driving in Beverly Hills uh, with expired tags, a broken windshield. You know, my license was suspended, which meant I had no insurance. And when the cop, you know, sort of took inventory of what was happening, he said, there's too much r going on wrong here. So it's actually not a traffic situation. This is a criminal matter. And I technically have to arrest you, but, um, but I like you. So I called the, um, you know, the police station, whatever. And, and they, they gave me permission to, to, re re to release you, but I'm giving you your court summons. This is technically you're being arrested. But, but, but he recognized you from Jackass. Uh, perhaps, yeah. It was a catch and release situation. Oh, right? nice. yeah, and yeah. and uh, nice. so he said, but but I can't let you drive home from here. He says, I'm going to have to tow your car and uh, call you a cab. Okay. So he called me a cab. And I, I'll never forget. I was just in the cab and, and I just lo looked at that car as the cab pulled away and just waved goodbye to it because I knew that I was not going to bother trying to get it back from <laughs> yeah. the I just you, let the, you said goodbye to the car. I let the tow yard keep the car. Yeah. And the sad thing about that was that my my clown, uh, I was a professional clown before that and uh, it, it had like my, my juggling torches. And Fuck, the juggling oh. torches. Like my, Those my, are expensive. Those are clown. tough Because him and I, you know, my, we went to the juggling torch it, store and it, the high end ones are very expensive. Seven or eight grand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know about seven or eight grand, but. Uh, well, we go to a nicer yeah, store. We go to <laughs> titanium. <laughs> titanium <laughs> right out of alloys. Right. But uh, yeah, my, my, yeah, so. my, my clown wig from uh, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Clown College. And, Damn. and it's, it's, it's probably still in the trunk of that goddamn car. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Probably <laughs> a waste of money going to the college, but we'll get that. No, no, it was later. actually free. You went to Clown College, well, you had a, a scholarship? Full ride. Uh, yeah, well, full, yeah, full ride. Full ride. Clown <laughs> College, bro. 
Well, I mean, now, I, I was living with my sister in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah. And she wasn't very thrilled about this. I was an alcoholic. I was a slob. I was uh, unemployed and broke, eating all of her food, making the house a mess. And um, she was taking a shit at work when reading a book of trivia on the uh, while taking a shit. She came across a question. It said, what is the only college that has no tuition, just free to go to. Yeah. And the answer was Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Clown College has no tuition. If you can get in, it's very difficult to get in. Ah. Oh. Now that the the cool thing is, they do <laughs> charge you for what was called your uh, uh, materials your, for for making your costume. Your costume cost <laughs> cost like uh, some two thousand dollars that you had to, but but. They waived my my uh, costume fee, so I did go to clown college on a scholarship. On a scholarship. Yeah, yeah. Why did they waive your fee? You think? Because because uh, you were so because, fucking good. Uh, no way. That's my actual class right there. The 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 one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The big shoe review. That one. Uh, Are you in the poster? Uh, I, I'm I, I'm sure I rank it. Oh God damn it! Is that you? You you in there? Uh, okay, I'm top right. <laughs> okay. No, let go. go That's top right. Top. Zoom, 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 zoom. Dude, the one with the white, the white wig that looks looks kind of like Nikki Six's hair. Yeah, that's right. me up. Un uh, and that's me above you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, actually, yeah. That, 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 that the guy above me didn't speak English. He was from Mexico City, but he was incredibly talented. Oh, really? Well, yeah. What makes him? T he went. He giggled good. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, I, you're what being, makes you're him being, talented? You're being real diminutive. Um, what? Yeah. You're being real fucking diminutive about clown. You don't know shit about clown college. You think no, you can get through? I'm asking. I don't know. I mean, What's the uh, talent of clown college? It's it's a very subjective art, and That's right. um, oh, I so think that I think that this guy was uh, just compelling in his mannerisms. Right. Do you, you think know, I could have gone to call, clown clown college? I think that you would have been a fantastic clown. No. Yeah, dude, one of the best, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, I would be the. Bro, I would be the Michael Jordan of clown college. There's never been a famous Asian clown, and there never will. Do you know why? Because we have strict parents. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No. You, 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 oh, imagine this. Can, can what, you Google? It's all in the eyes with clowning. Wow, dude, look at that. Oh, so, <laughs> oh I see. I see. See, dude, it, dude, really, it really was me. That is you, that, dude. That is me, dude. Um, can you look up famous Asian clown? There, <laughs> there's never been, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> It's all in the eyes, dude. Yeah, I, dude. Uh, if you I, say the eye thing, yeah. But I'm serious. Look at all the expressionism Let me see the in the Asian face. clown. Give me the Asian clown. I mean, dude. <laughs> is that yeah. a, dude, 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 is that an Asian clown? Dude, that we look is dope, absolutely bro. an Asian clown. Dude, that's dope, bro. Hunka, hunka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. No chance. Hunka, hunka. Hunka, hunka. hunka, hunka. Yeah. There's, there's no right. fucking chance that there was a, a famous he, Asian clown. There, there's another one. There's two of other ones. <laughs> we we never is. said there was not an Asian The most Asian disappointed Asian parents. What? There was an Asian clown. There's no famous Asian clown. <laughs> I see. I see. Just never. They never made so it. So I have a resentment towards you. Can I express I, 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 I it? I have a real, res real. This is not even. A sure. Right. You're not fucking around. I'm not even fucking around. Right, this is on. real, and this man. is so fucked up what you did. Maybe, maybe we can clear away some wreckage of, of my past. That's what I'm doing right now. I, I, and it's welcome, a recent thing, so it's a recent thing. I welcome the opportunity. Okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So I'm hanging out with my friend Gene late night. We went to see the movie um, Top Gun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you look at a few. And, and yeah, I, I've correct. only heard positive reviews of this. And we loved it. So Great good. movie. I would really highly suggest it. So, so fucking um, good. It's late at night. It's probably eleven thirty. And um, Steve O never texts me. <laughs> Te text. <laughs> he never texts me. Text. Well, I gave up on texting you a long time ago because you never respond. Correct. Okay. And, and I, I, I've long had a resentment towards you for oh, that. Oh, well, and I'm willing to, to listen to your resentment, <laughs> and I'd, I'd love to address that as well. Right. I mean, we have. We have. And we, All we, right. We, so we let's, let's, let me yeah. just finish mine, though. Yeah. Let me finish mine, right? Yeah. So um, I need to talk to you. No, no, no. It said, are you up? Okay. Are you up? <laughs> <laughs> Much less urgent. Just are you up? Uh, if you uh, are, okay, mind you, mind you, are you up, right? <laughs> yeah. At midnight. When somebody doesn't text you for years is alarming. Ah, okay. Is it not? Wait, wait. What's it? it said? Are you up? Yeah. What time of night was it? Midnight. Yeah, he's just being like, "Yo, did you get out of a show? Are you hanging out?" That, yeah, that I, I wouldn't. Are, are you up? So he would never what? Okay, because here's because that that would that would just let me say that would mean right if you text me at midnight, are you up? That means you need to talk about something. 
Yeah, okay. Right? So that's Doesn't mean it's the end of the world. I just want to ask you something. I want to talk to you. All right. But to me, I'm worried. (laughs) Okay. Right? Are you up? Oh, fuck, Steve. Something's going on, right? So I'm driving. And just hear me out, right? Ask Gene. I was frantic. I got to call Steve right now. So I called Steve. You did call right away. I called right away because when you text me like, what's up, dude? You want to go skate or whatever like that? I won't text you back. But are you up? I text back because I'm concerned. I love you. I mean, you called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. Why, that means a lot to me. And he goes, dude, so let me just try to, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> dude, uh, you know Johnny Knoxville? Like, of course I know Johnny Knoxville. I mean, I don't know him personally, you know what I mean? Well, you know, he doesn't have a website or something like that, right? Something like that. Well, right, right but I was uh, pretty... I know, just let me finish. Let me just... <laughs> I, I thought I just texted you the link. You I know, I know. I, 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 oh, what? <laughs> So, so, let me finish. Let me finish. This is so funny. Like you're so inaccurately telling the story. I, n- I never. And then when he corrects you, go. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting it wrong. Right. 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 And then he's correcting, and you're like, "Can I please tell the story?" It was a big deal to me. Yeah. That, uh, I mean, this is over a year ago. Uh, well, maybe closer to two years ago. Uh, my my buddy, um, who I work with. Out of curiosity, he, he he wanted to see if the Jackass guys had merchandising operations, if they have websites. So he typed in johnnyknoxville.com. Lo and behold, he found it to be available for purchase. Uh, and I bought it. Should, yeah. And, and I made this big... But dude, I worked for years on this whole fucking thing, this 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 epic video which launched this uh, crazy like uh, you know business initiative, and it was the night that I, I was unveiling the, the website was to be launched, and I'm refreshing it, but it's not launched and so I'm thinking damn my phone is remembering a cache of an old version. I need to contact somebody who can just tell me is this fucking site live that makes sense <laughs> this, this makes sense and i texted bobby so the i'm the guy i'm the guy <laughs> I, te- I texted a bunch of people i texted a bunch of people or who, like, who texted you back i think you're the only guy who texted me back or called me back because but i, I love like, you the most yeah you, you, you clearly okay. you clearly love me more than any of these other people yeah but uh it was just as simple as hey man is that live is that is that so i'm in is, the car I, is that can, live can, can, we, can, can we can we go on it on our yeah. computer Go, go to johnnyknoxville.com. This is what I'm doing in the car with my friend in the car with me. Yeah. Late at night. All right. So, you, you did, you, so you, I'm on the phone. I'll go, yep. He says, he says I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to my anus. <laughs> and you watch his hair turn gray. Is that your is dick, so, Steve? Whose dick is that? That's just... Uh, it's a nice looking dick. Boom. And then you enter the website. Because so it's through my online store. <laughs> the guy in the car <laughs> it was a producer of a show of mine. Yeah. Of a show that I'm doing, right? So? Okay. It was embarrassing. What's Why? embarrassing? Right. I, I, Dude, I, 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 my friend, I have a guy in the car that I'm trying to impress and be cool, right? Yeah. And n- meanwhile, I'm, now we're looking inside your butthole. <laughs> well, but his butthole takes you to a site. That's true. That's true. You don't think Gene, you there don't, is a destination. Yeah, you don't think Gene would find that creative? I, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is really pretty special. I'd like to see it again. Let's loop it again. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind. I do think it's actually a fucking cool I mean, creative it's, it's idea. A, it's a flattering yeah. shot yeah. of my butthole. Yeah, and you have a really clean tush. Is that really your butthole? It's yes. absolutely my cavernous butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, plus, and plus look at the hang I got on my balls, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got a great, ki- you got a killer I, hang. I did. Yeah. I mean, I'm touching water. Whoa. <laughs> cool butt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, this is, our, this is Rudy Jules. This is Jules. Jules. Hey, hey, Steve, hey, Jules. what do you think about his uh, butthole and nuts? Um, you want to rate him? It's clean. Clean. Very good. Very yeah. deep. Very deep. Very yeah. good. I Not think that's that a camera, hairy. though. It's a camera. It's also ILM, like, you know what I mean? Special effects. No, no, no. That was I all mean, raw. That was raw footage. It, oh, it, that was raw footage? It, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there, was, there was no uh, No camera trickery? No there filters. No, there was no editing. It, right, it was, right. um, I mean, the, the, the lighting... The light it was a little bit side lit, so it Still, did look dude. a little bit more cavernous. Maybe can I judge it? Yeah. Yeah. Um a little dark. You're worried. The cheeks about the were white. Dark. Yeah. If you look at the cavern part, it's really dark. Right, okay. Right. So I don't know what that's from. Are, Standing. Are, huh? Do it again. Watch it again. Can, <laughs> oh, watch it again. Watch can it again. I can I propose? Oh, yeah, watch it again. And can, and then can you all right, so watch it again. Watch. Can, can I propose wait, that? Wait, wait, let me just I, I have the straw, right? I'm just gonna can I, may I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll prep, pre, can it, you can't press pause on that anyway when it goes, yeah, when it does that, I'm it does that. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, right? All right, let's see. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Now they fucked it's it up. There. 
No, there it is. No, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Dark, dark. That's hair. I fucked up. Um, I oh, mean, we maybe, those maybe we could. Uh, maybe, it... maybe we could all have a uh, a butthole beauty pageant right now. Very nice. We Let's could, do it. We could spread them, I, I, spread very, our cheeks as wide. I as took a possibly shit like forty five minutes Let's ago. Let's see your butthole. And... <laughs> dude, I took a shit forty five minutes ago. Let's and... see your butthole, dude. Can I tell you something that's that's, that's very premature? Because we've we've only just gotten the samples, and only today did we make the order for uh, a bulk order, Lar- uh, uh, like ten thousand fifty packs of Stevo's butt wipes for your butthole. You got butt wipes coming. I've got butt wipes, and they're called Steve- for the butthole. I mean, Stevo's butt wipes for your butthole. Okay, but can I say something? Yeah. Aren't all butt wipes for the butthole? Why no. would you need to put the second? No, some butt wipes are for you know cleaning a counter. <laughs> right. like a butt wipes are for like a table. Right. Waitresses use it sometimes. They do. They're like, oh, let me let me wipe the table down before you guys eat. Yeah, Those yeah. are butt wipes. Sometimes. Right. Is that a butt wipe? That's not a. I'm it's not a bad table dude. butt wipe. <laughs> Table oh, butt wipe. It's butt wipe for the table. Yeah, we have Steve-O's butt wipes for, for, for your the butthole, butthole in, in, in the, bathroom. the bathroom. In the bathroom. I see. You can use those on your own. Uh oh, here we go. He's gonna if show you're us. You're spilling butthole. the drink. He can uh, spill the drink. Okay, it's you fine. can do whatever you want. Uh, no. Can you? Okay, thanks, Jules. Uh, I still think we should. Butt Steve-O's butt wipes for your butthole. <laughs> and he's got his butthole on the packaging, me, which is actually me, pretty me, fucking me, dope. Would like to see, please. Let's not get away from the fact it's that very good. Bob, let's do your butthole competition. Let's see if your butthole is as nice as Steve's. You know, it's funny because um, you talked about his butthole like it's I understand bad. that, but since we're doing a competition, right? And since I feel like I'm the champion, you should go first <laughs> because I have the belt. So you, I think you should go first. What do you mean? He's got the belt. He my, has a nice right, butthole. Right, but I, if, my, uh, in terms of rankings, though, dude, I, I, am I? You're at number one, but I'm ranked higher than him. I, I, my, my, do you got to leave? Does she have to leave the room for this? No. Jules, are you comfortable with um, butthole? I'll just close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, me too. All right. So, okay. Oh my uh, god. Right. Yeah, but I just, I just took a shit like uh, right before we came here. Okay. Wow, dude, he's really gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Wow! wow. All right, I didn't wow. think you would do it. I didn't think you would do it. Was it cool? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Damn. I, I, so, yeah, I, you, I, you guys yeah. both have gorgeous buttholes. Dude, yours is you. so clean. It is. It's fucking spotless. Thank you, dude. I didn't see yours. I had a side angle. Steve saw mine. You I, saw the inside of his. Is it I, pink? It, it, I, I assume. I it's, mean, dude, it, it, for, for two guys who just took shits, you know, they both look just clean yeah, enough to eat yes. off of. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. yeah you know, who's, who Who do you think of our crew, if you're looking at these guys, who yeah. do you think has the, the cleanest butthole of those three guys? I don't know, but I'm just wildly impressed by, by both of you for how, how attractive your buttholes are. Thank you, Steve. Thank and, you. And for, for the way that you guys just fucking broke them out. Like we did it. Thank you. Thank and you, you know thank what? You. Yeah. Our buttholes are the same. We have, we both have nice buttholes. You know it's so funny. <laughs> Don't what, can I say something? Don't try to one up my. I'm ass. not. I'm one upping you. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you. Thank what you. What I'm saying is, is, um, I like to be competitive with you. Sure. With comedy numbers, all these things. You know, we do a playful numbers. You know, I don't know. <laughs> what kind but, of numbers? but when it comes, but but when it comes to buttholes, yeah. I love being on an even plane with you. We're an even plane butthole. Yeah, you're right. Very good. And I, God bless. Do you want to finish the story of the text that this was it? You got a text from him about fin- getting to a website live. You freaked out in front of Gene Hong. I, I, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I. It seems pretty so, logical. Yeah, can, can I, I get I, an I, apology? I, I, oh, that you want to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, right. I wanted the apology. I, I bless he, dude, This was the the fucking most exciting news. And, and I for I, you. I gave, I gave him for a, you. I gave him a sneak peek. <laughs> sneak yeah, yeah. I, dude, I hadn't talking to you on the phone in years. We saw you came up to on the van to my yeah. house, yeah. and I did yeah. your podcast yeah. maybe five, six months yeah, ago. It was wildly successful. Exactly, and you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but don't wink at me. You're welcome. <laughs> Fucking perv. But th- just apologize, and then you have a resentment toward me. So go ahead. I mean, we're, like I, I, I worked out my my deal with you. You know, like right. I, I, uh, I, I text you. I don't expect to text back anymore. I don't let it hurt my feelings. Smart. All right, but can I? The reason and, why and, I text- and, and 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 to the extent that you were. Upset with me sharing this exciting, hilarious website. Yeah. Before anybody got to see it, you were the first. I was the first I, guy I, to see I, it. I, I, I'm, I'm, That's cool. I, Thank I'm, you. 
Yeah. Mm. I, 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 you know what? You're right. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're welcome. How do people say that? I, I'm sorry if you were offended. I'm sorry that, yeah, I'm sorry that I'm you not, were offended. No, we laughed. You know, I'll be honest with you. That's the truth be told. I'm, we I'm probably sorry. La- we laughed for about 30 minutes. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, he was. I'm sure Gene on was the like, right because I was dropping Gene off, and we just tears on our eyes, laughing <laughs> of the surrealness of it all. You know yeah. what I? You know what I saw? I watched. Wait, are, are you up? Because I got something good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liquid IV. Oh my God, the hot summer months are here, baby. They're here. You gotta and hydrate. We, yeah, and we need to be proactive about keeping our bodies fueled and hydrated. We love Liquid IV. Here love Liquid IV. We always get so much from them and we distribute the bags to our friends as well to put it in their water when they come to the studio and give it to them because it's on the go. Because guess what? Liquid IV products taste great. They got a bunch of new flavors now. They got Concord Grape, Lemon Lime, Bina Colada, which is my favorite, and Tropical Punch, which Bobby loves. I love tropical anything. But my, especially Liquid IV. You know, water's okay. Water's fine. It's fine. It's but when fine. you put a stick of liquid IV powder in yum, there, yum, yum, you're yum. getting all kinds of nutrients, baby. 16 ounces of water in liquid IV hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. It contains five essential vitamins. They got three times the electrolytes. They're made with premium ingredients and non-GMO, free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Anybody can have this stuff. B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. They got literally everything you need. They got the cellular transport technology, the CTT, and that's designed for enhanced rapid absorption. Listen, Grab yourself some Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BADFRIENDS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code BADFRIENDS at liquidiv.com. Battle! For all your summer travels, whether you're going abroad or staying domestic, and want to immerse yourself in the culture, now is the perfect time to start Babbel. Babbel's a language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, there's still time to learn a new language before you reach your destination. It's so easy to learn. It's Other so languages. Simple. This, especially, this is the best way to learn. You only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson. That's right. So you can start having a real-life conversations in a new language in a little as little as three weeks. I got to tell you, I'm using the app, and I have it right here on my phone to prove it to you. I've got it right here, and I do like it because I'm learning Italian right there babble and you're learning a little uh, italiano and uh it's very simple very easy and you can do it at your convenience which is what i really like you can stop and start it you can choose from 14 different languages spanish french italian german uh and these are created by uh real life real life words all right the the other language learning apps use ai they use uh language experts right now save up to 60 percent off your subscription when you go to babble.com slash bad friends that's babble.com slash bad friends for up to 60 percent off your subscription babble language for, for life, life. <laughs> i watched the bonus footage of the of the movie on the flight the other day okay. coming back dude some of that stuff well it's not it's four. What is it called? You, the extra footage. It was like four and a half or whatever. Uh, 4.5. 4.5, yeah, yeah. This is um, it, it's of of ancillary movie of uh, deleted scenes essentially. Do you, have yeah. you seen it? No. Have you seen the newest Jackass or no? I didn't. Well, fuck you. Here's the thing. I've seen it, all for the first three though, and I love it. When, when 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 we make a Don't Jackass, fucking look movie. at me like that. You should have watched it. Your <laughs> friend is in it who supports you. I, I saw the first three. <laughs> And yeah. I saw three of them. I didn't see, you know, Attack of the Clones or whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, right. I so saw the is... first three main ones, right? And then later, you know, they did Attack of the Clones and all these other ones. Right. And I'll get to it. I'll stream I, it. But my it, point is, is that yeah. I saw the original three. I'm not sure. New original. Hope, Empire Strikes, and Return of the Jedi. That's what the first three are. You saw the first three. Yeah. So I think that's good enough. Yeah. Dude, I, I did like, like our, our friendship, our friendship's not contingent upon you consuming my art. But he is gonna take that. But he is gonna take that with him in future dealings. When you're like, "Hey, can you watch this thing for me?" No, and, that's not true. No, I, I, and and let, let me let me uh, <laughs> let, let let me s- say something that that really does mean a lot to me. Yeah. Uh, I I asked Bobby for some feedback on my hour. You know, I, came, oh, on your on your stand up hour. Yeah, he came right over and and uh, and and watched it and. Uh, Sweet Prince. It gave me feedback, and and it, it was really interesting because I had been doing stand up for for just five years, and I was about to tape my first special, which I was not ready to do. And I asked Bobby to come over to give me feedback on this hour, like maybe a week before the actual, you know. And Bobby's yeah. like, "Why did you wait until a week before?" Because it was me and Ian Edwards. We went over there and we're like, what what do we what can we do in a fucking week? You're shooting this in a week. You have to cut the whole fucking thing up. I know, because also we you know, we, we you have to go up and try this these new ideas it, that we might have had or whatever. Yeah. Right. I mean it, it, it was uh very helpful. 
and and, and uh, you know, they like the, the special did come out like the best that I was capable of at the time. Sure. Yeah, it was great. You know, and 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 it's nice to have a mile marker, so to speak, that like to you know show the growth since then. And so I, I, I'm happy about it. We have history, you and I. We do. Yeah, and I've seen different versions of Steve O. And um, you know, I I was telling Kalila earlier today. I go, I always say this. I go, God, what a what a different guy, huh? Because I knew him when he was drug, drug. Yeah. When he was wild, and it was ugly. It was bad, huh? Was pretty bad, dude. Yeah. It was wild. But now it's good. It's great. He's a completely different guy. And how much time do you have? You're sober forever now. Fourteen years. That's amazing. And but that's how you. long yeah. we go back. How much time do you have now? You know, I went out and I came I, back. I, I did hear that. Five months now, sober. Six. Almost six, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, and when you were recently in treatment, that was like sort of a, a guarded secret that, that people did not know. Yeah. In fact, when we were in Cancun to do our show, <laughs> you were there. And I tried, I did everything I can to avoid you because uh, well, I was drunk. You were drinking. Yes. Because I remember you initially going out and it being uh, just weed. No, he no, was drinking. I was drinking. He threw up all over the hotel room. <laughs> I, wow, then now, like, I had to fucking take care of him. It was, yeah, it was fucking really, the worst. Yeah, and, I, and the poo thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, he fucking this guy, man. Yeah. I go to help him out to clean up all the throw up in his room, and he comes to the door naked with poop all over his hand and poop on his toilet paper, and he's he's shitting in the dark because he doesn't want the lights on. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, there's a poop, and it's all over his <laughs> Dude, it was uh, ins- it was terrible. fucking nuts. Terrible. Terrible. Were, were you just trying to avoid sober people? You specifically, because I know you were uh, definitely. A, he was trying to avoid you for, for sure. sure. Yeah, because there wasn't a lot of other comics. You're there. a sober guy, and I I feel felt shame about it. Right. You know what I mean? Because you know we that's how we know each other too. You know what I mean? I mean, it, we we knew each other long before I got sober. But um, our bond is that. One of our, we have two bonds, right? We have the bond of being sober and we have the bond of being entertainers as well, right? Yeah. But I think the first thing goes beyond the other thing, right? It, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. But you got to know that I wouldn't have. Uh... It was embarrassing. It was shame. And we, I, we were fucking bummed. <laughs> we're, we're, we're... <laughs> It was really hard for it us. Was hard. It was yeah, because we had to deal with it the whole time. We had to like. Yeah, yeah. Were you drinking around Andrew? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. At yeah. dinners. Yeah. So we'd sit down at dinner, and Andres and I would sit there. I was and so manipulative. I'd too. get like oh, a diet coke and a water, and then he'd order a drink, and then we'd try to tell the we'd be like, "Come on, no, we're not going to have a drink." And then we'd tell the server, "No booze," and they'd bring him a drink anyway, because he would be like, "Well, because he's he's an icon." He's a, a, a yeah. beloved. They had no idea who he was down there. <laughs> they had literally no clue. But she kept going. He, he would like flirt with her and be sweet. And she thought maybe it was a joke. She yeah, thought yeah. we were kidding. Yeah. When we were like, no, 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 no more. No alcohol. No more. We're, we're done. Yeah. And so she, they kept bringing him fucking margaritas and shit. So when, and then when he you... got mad. He got in a fight with me because he told me to go get him a drink. And then I said, okay, because he'd already been drinking. So I went and I got you know something and i told them to mix a bunch of shit in there with no alcohol and then he got in this yelling match there's no booze there's no booze in here and i was like there's so much booze in there the whole thing is booze <laughs> yeah i'm not dumb dude did uh, but you were already drunk i thought you wouldn't I, I, give no i know i know what booze tastes like did did <laughs> did you have the experience that they were they you know over any over any uh, period, we get worse, never better. Yeah. Was that did you pick up where your alcoholism oh, yeah, yeah. had left off? But and and worse, like yeah, 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 just yeah, yeah. automatically, like just zero to Charlie Sheen, right? Oh yeah, away. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It yeah, was twenty four hours a day. Yeah, the puke and the poop were a key indication of how, where he was at. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, when I first got to his fucking hotel room, he opens his suitcase. It was like Narcos. I mean, it was like. <laughs> Contraband. I was like, where did you fly from? Yeah, yeah, And he yeah. came from Hawaii Yeah, with like a pound of fucking weed, pills you... all over the place. <laughs> Wait, you didn't fly with a pound of weed. Yes, he did. Internationally? Yes, he yes. did. That's fucking... Yes, I can't make that up. We both got to the room and I was like, how did like, you guys get through, dude? This is not packs. good. Mm-hmm. And pa- I mean, it was just like bags and bags of weed. It was pre-roll joints and then it was three bags of individual weed. Then it was jars of pot and then it was uh, fucking wow. uh, tons of edibles. Yeah, I was like... 
Why would you fly with all this? But, 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 I needed but, but, it. I needed it. That was, but that was it. Just for the drugs, it was just the weed. Anyway, look, can we talk? Not talk about? It? I'm sober now. No, we're not talking. Yeah, about, we don't I've, have I've to talk about it. Spiritual enlightenment. I know. We know. I've, you I've did. had a psychic change, and you and, got a trophy because you kicked and the habit. Tro- yeah, and, 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 and I'm on a new road to recovery. You sure are, baby. We're yeah. proud of you. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I, I love that, and I appreciate that. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that that you're back. Oh, you're gonna say something? I just, I, I think that that. My experience, and, and whenever anybody goes out, meaning whenever anybody relapses, I feel so profoundly grateful b- because here, like, they, uh, they're they uh, reminding me of the, the importance of protecting my sobriety. Yeah. You know? Uh, and um, Reminds you to stay so, to say so. It, it reminds me to be diligent about working a program of recovery. Well, and, that's, you see, that's. And it's a lesson I've learned many times is once you start drifting away, you're already in a danger spot. Right. You can only you stop if you, when you stop calling your sponsors, when you stop going to meetings, and then you just, it just it's just inevitable. And you 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 can last for years that way, but it's it's a ticking time bomb. Right. Yeah. So. Um, and when whenever somebody loses time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's tougher to come back, and, and sobriety becomes more tenuous. But I'm glad that. That Bob's got support systems in the sober community, like you, that fucking help because yeah, it I does. Mean, yeah, and you know, there's only two ways to work the steps: you do or you don't. Yeah, yeah. That's really it. And yeah. and if you're not working with others, you're kind of not doing it. That's this is the microcosm of this show, by the way. <laughs> we go from showing our fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. To get him seriously <laughs> down. That's the beauty impressed. of this show. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. go way up there. Yeah. And I'm then, still very yeah. impressed by that. Now, now let, me, uh, <laughs> uh, let me ask a question here because you said that you like to be competitive with Andrew oh, man. over comedy. Everything. You said over everything. numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. And um, like the idea, I'm fascinated by the idea that you've got the Tiger Belly podcast. Yeah. You've got your, Whiskey your, Ginger. The, yeah. Whiskey Ginger. And yet you both have this podcast together yeah so is this podcast numbers wise more successful yes. than your individual podcast it is i think so yeah, yeah so it is. some I mean, it's not a thing it's very democratic no it's literal it is yeah. these, these yeah. the producers will tell you it so, is this this one is bigger so you guys together are larger than the sum of your we're the posts. avengers we are the, we're the avengers we are right yeah, yeah, and yeah. which one am i God, what see that's what i'm saying because there's not a lot of avengers i can be you, what do you mean? What do you mean? You, you can, can be, be a- Captain America. You can yep. be all these other ones. What yep. can I be? Now, Tiger Belly is a pretty big podcast. Yeah, it's pretty right? big. It's pretty big. Thank you. It's not as big as this, but it's pretty big. Yeah. Is, 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 is it not as big as this? It's a completely no. different audience, man. <laughs> it's a completely different audience. That's all people that look like her, a lot of that Tiger Belly audience. It's a yeah. lot of browns. It's a lot of South Browns. South, <laughs> it's a lot of South Asian browns. Yeah, yeah. Um, who just got back from the South Asian brown, uh, didn't you? Hmm. Yeah? You happy to be back in the United States or no? A little bit. <laughs> she, she said she got drunk the whole time. Is that what you did for real? Yeah, and I got constipated. I couldn't poo for like two weeks. That's because you're not drinking enough water. Are you pooing now that you're back in the States? Yeah. Your congratulations. I'm pooing every day. That's why this is the greatest country And tomorrow in the world. night, if you come, you're, you have to do that show. So I already doing, said I would go. But her boyfriend's coming. That dude is going to come? Yeah. Wow. And I told him, I told her. Are that. we going to bring him out on stage? No, 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 no. <clears throat> Why yeah. not? Why not? No, she's but got, make sure. Make she's sure. got a new boyfriend, Steve, and she's okay. in love. Yeah, yeah. No. Make sure make sure you hug him because I said I was going to give him a 20 second hug and make sure you touch his face to see what his face looks like. Okay, you and I, we're making a pack right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to hug him together and then you kiss one cheek and I kiss the other one. Okay, good. You want to sandwich yeah, yeah, him yeah. and we'll kiss yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. But and the kiss has to be like one of those 10 second. <laughs> yeah. A sloppy one. How about this? Let's make a bet. Let's yeah. see who can hold a kiss on his cheek for the longest amount of time. That's a fun. fun I'm going to win that one. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I, I, I can go 45 minutes. I'm strong. I'll just yeah, hold him. Is he a thing. big guy? Is he strong? Mm, no. He's fine. I, yeah. Okay. Bobby's got that by a mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can kiss forever. Yeah, but I can hold him. If he's physically yeah. stronger than you, then we've you're never in kissed, right? Um, we we haven't needed to for me to know. Go give him a kiss. Go give him a kiss. You want to give him a kiss? He's got a girlfriend. That's weird. He's got a wife. A wife. Fiance. Fiance. Fiance, fiance, yeah, fiance, yeah, fiance, yeah. fiance. 
Are you with your fiance, or were you? Would you be allowed to kiss someone like Bobby, or no? Yeah, she'd be okay with that. Let me ask she, you something she, like this. She, she would. She would be. I think reasonably comfortable with that. Go on then. So the no <laughs> master. Because uh, I'm doing the no masturbation thing, right? Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to ask insane. you about this. Okay. Yeah. I just did today before I came uh, here. Yeah, VR, yeah. by so the way. So how long? How so long sick. did you ma not masturbate for? I did not ejaculate for the entire year of 2014, and the total period of my celibacy was. 431 days which came to i believe 13 months and or maybe 15 months i don't know it was like it was from like october 2013 to february of 2015. how good was the nut you busted when you busted Dude, the first it was one? lack yeah. fucking luster man a, marsh what? a marshmallow came out not nah, nah, <laughs> <it wasn't laughs> yeah yeah it, dude, it wasn't it was even, ghostbusters all over it wasn't even that <laughs> it wasn't even that fucking great you know now i know was it jerking off or was it with somebody? I, I, I jerked off, oh, yeah. Okay. And, to and porn then, or just and, your mind? And it wasn't even that, it wasn't it didn't feel that great. It, it wasn't that impressive of a, a load. Of, of a load. Yeah. It just landed unceremoniously on my tummy. I took a photo of it and uh, texted it to everybody. I think I got that, I think I, I think I got that text. Yeah, 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 I think I got that text. That one you responded yeah, to. Yeah, that one I responded yeah, to. No resentment over that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let, me, so, let me ask you something, because you, you don't jack out for over a year, right? Right. And so you're, you're I don't, I'm not a medical guy, right? But you, so I assume- You're not? <laughs> I'm not a I assume medical that your guy. body, right, generates, you know what I mean? Your scrotum generates sperm, yep. right? Right. So where does the old sperm go? It just goes right into your body, back into your body? It's just gonna cycle through your body. Oh, I see, that's So what it comes happens. out of your ass, actually. <laughs> so you have sperm coming out of your asshole. Well, what happens is it cycles through your digestive tract, right? right? So then at some point- It's gotta it comes go somewhere. Out, out of your Do you sweat it out? You can, then... you can be sweating jizz, yeah. <laughs> so like, when I'm, you're at a you're dry sauna, they're just, out of the pores of your skin, they're coming. Where, do, where, they, does, where does old jizz go, Carlos? <laughs> yeah. What happens to jizz that doesn't come out? What, ha what happens to sperm if you don't ejaculate? I think we've literally done this on this show. They get reabsorbed into your body. The, there you go. They're reabsorbed. And you're, and, your or, or nocturnal emissions when you night come. Have you ever night come? Dude, in, throughout that period of celibacy, <laughs> yeah. there were many times where in my dream, I was in some sexual situation and about to come, but I was like, no, I can't. Break my sobriety in the dream. In, in the, the dream. Dr in the dream. This motherfucker sober in dreams. <laughs> wow. That's Sexual how dedicated sobriety. he is to sobriety. Insane. So what is it? You're not watching. You're not jerking off now. No, I'm jerking off to no porn. But I'm still there you go. through memory. But I can't do it through memory because your memory's bad. I have bad <laughs> fantasies. Yeah, I I'm not creative. Off. I, I'm using. My buddy bought me the Oculus. It's. <laughs> I've done that. Before. It's so cool. Have I've, you done that? Have you seen VR porn? I've not seen VR porn, but I swore off porn a long time. So you're ago, done man. off of like, it. Like, uh, I, I made one exception for um, a bit uh, for my new hour that I'm touring with. It's a good exception. It's called Skyjacking. Oh, the, I know. We talk about <laughs> yeah, this. Wait, wait, right. Scott, what do you do? That's This is where uh, it was a stunt. You know, I had very, like a handful of stunts that I'd had the ideas for years and years, but just never, they were just kind of like too much to go for. And I said, fuck it, I'm going for them. One of the ideas was to go skydiving for the first time, butt naked, furiously jacking off <laughs> with, with another man strapped to my back and time it so that when I blow my load, I'm simultaneously falling out of the airplane, just pop, pop, pop. Coming everywhere, it's, and it's, it was it's 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 beautiful. art. It's art. It's and art. It's, beautiful. it's the crown jewel of my goddamn yeah. entire career, is what it is. It's fucking it's art. Is it raining? <laughs> you, you <heard> <laughs> I feel like it's raining. Right. No, that's not rain. The it, sky jazz. Yeah, yeah. It's so. I, I mean, like it was the most challenging thing to put together. You did it. Oh yeah. Was it? You jerked off. Yeah. You did it. Yeah, oh, did I did it. it, and I screened the footage in the theater. Every, uh, you know, it's my bucket list show, dude. Where can we see it? Can we see it here? Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's exclusive to my tour. It's on his tour. Know? He shows it live. Tour. It, it'll uh. come out like it'll come out when I, whenever I tape that special. But it's right, like right. it's a triple X rated uh, multimedia comedy tour that I'm on, and it's called the Bucket List Tour. Oh wow! Yeah. So can you let me ask you this? Because I've because I, I I remember years ago I saw I was telling Jules this. I saw something that wasn't on the Jackass, and because I used to kind of hang out with not you, but Wee Man or whatever back in the day, <clears throat> and I saw Chris Pontius jerk off in a patio in front of his friends, and they try to right. Can you so let me ask you something right now? Is there could you jerk off? No, I don't want to do it, but 
just theoretically, <laughs> could you jerk off with Andrew and I in the same room, get erect, and ejaculate? Um, it, it it's, it's challenging. That that's what made this skyjacking stunt so challenging was that. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> I had another man strapped to my back. Yeah. And he was only wearing a, a fucking Speedo. So that was right. kind of awkward. And it was a tiny little airplane. It was full of all my buddies and everybody had cameras pointed at me. Yeah. Point blank. So you had to get hard to the point. You had to walk. Did you take Viagra? I, 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 I took four Cialis pills. Uh, <laughs> you have to. Yeah. And you watch porn? I brought a portable DVD player. Yeah, and you, what kind of porn did you watch? It was... Uh, we actually went to a, a porno DVD store. Wow, fancy. And can, candidly, as I looked through all of the titles and made my selection, I just based my choice off of, uh, like, you know, what, what the, the, the prettiest uh, porn star that I saw on the cover of. I, mean, I didn't, it never even occurred to me to read the title, which was like anal destruction four, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. I have you two know. and three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there we go. Those are good. Upstart. Hey, Andrew, I've had so many um, a credit card debt and problems. I've been in debt so many times over my life, man. And that's why I use uh, Upstart because it can be hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel when you have high interest debt. And sometimes it can be even harder to ask for help. That's where Upstart comes in. Saying goodbye to high interest credit card debt is one of the first steps towards financial independence. You want freedom? You got to use Upstart. We've all been there. You know, you get with unexpected bills, uh, medical bills, expenses. Who knows? When that happens, you can feel like the weight of the world is coming down and it's normal to not know where to turn. Luckily, Upstart is here to help. Upstart powered personal loans can help you pay down high interest debt all online with simple and easy to understand payment terms. They've helped over 1.8 million customers on their path to financial freedom. It's amazing. You check your rate in minutes for loans, with loans between 1,000 all the way up to $50,000 without impacting your credit score. And you can receive funds as fast as one business day after they accept your loan. Upstart's model considers other factors in your income like employment and other information provided in your loan application to find you a smarter rate for your loan. Bobby and I have both had bad debt. We've both been stuck. And if Upstart was around back then, we wouldn't have had to crawl out of a weird, dark uh, financial hole. Don't wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash badfriends. Bad friends. That's upstart.com slash badfriends to check your rate today. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash badfriends. Bad friends. Uh, dude, I, yeah. now let me tell you this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, had this, uh, this yeah, I, I like the way I look better when I've shaved my, my chest and everything. Yeah. I just don't like my chest hair. I, so I like to shave it. And, the, and, I, and I shave my bush and everything. So <laughs> at one point, I, I shaved, uh, shaved everything and I had all of my body hair in a big pile in my hand and I took a photo and uh and and posted it you know i was like look at him the nice and clean shave this big mountain of hair in my hand and uh my buddy preston lacy said dude you should save all your pubic hair for the and and like uh you know make like a, a fucking sasquatch suit you know like just out of pubic hair so i that's what i started doing i did i, I would grow i would grow grow it like full and then i would harvest <laughs> And then grow it and repeat. And I had like fucking three years of pubic hair. I mean, and, like, and and as I got ready to do get this, a PlayStation. I, I mean, you know what I mean? I realized. <laughs> I think this is brilliant. Yeah. I realized that three years of my own growing pubic hair yeah. was just not even fucking getting close. If I really <laughs> wanted to look like a cool fucking Sasquatch. Right. So what I did was I. <laughs> <laughs> went on my social media and I said, hey, everybody in the Southern California area, I'm having a puba party, okay? It, I'm calling all, all males with, with healthy pubic bushes to come meet me. Like, you have to bring your own uh, shaving equipment, shave, <clears throat> shaving equipment yeah. because I didn't want to get I use Manscaped. In. But anyway, I, I, that's love, my I, lo I love Manscaped. And, <laughs> and Harry's. That, that's what I learned. <laughs> <clears throat> and so, like, hundreds of people showed up. And, and, and here I harvested. I mean, they, they were oh, wait, how many dudes showed up? I mean, like, Re -re realistically. I, dude, I, I have the footage of it. It was a fuck ton of people. Dude. And, and I got, like, and, and I got, like, a, out of it, I got, like, a, a goddamn bona fide Ralph's grocery bag full of fucking pubic hair. It was. 
Could you make not, a not Sasquatch po- with it or not? not for, oh yeah, I did it. Yeah. I did it. And um, what about women? And, women and, and have pubic hair. Why, 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 why you could have done women? Yeah, that respect for my lady. Okay, okay, that's you know? true. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, he, but here was the here was the takeaway. Two takeaways. Number one, <laughs> Manscaped really is. Like, dude, every I, I handled so many different shavers. And if it was a manscape, it was like, a, you know, God bless manscape. Yeah, they knew what they were doing. They, yeah, they knew I, what they were doing. I, I, it, it, it was very clear by the end of that that manscape really is. That's the, the top. footage they should use for their commercial. They really I know. Want to sell I, I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried, I tried to. to they, they, uh, they, they didn't have releases for uh, fucking yeah. hundreds of people. It was like yeah. uh, poor planning. But um, the other takeaway, and this, what it blew my mind. Because I, I didn't ask for everybody to show me their wieners. Didn't ask. But the thing was that like everybody's pulling down their 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 pants just to get to get the very easy if you wanna like, you know, offer me your pubic bush to pull it down just enough that I don't have to see your wiener. I can just shave your pubic hair. However, like so many dudes just pulled down a little too far and I learned I saw so many penises. Of it. I learned what a micro penis is. Oh, there was a guy that had one. Dude, they're not fucking particularly rare. Wait, what? You saw more Whoa. than one micro penis? I saw penis? more than one micro penis. How common are micro penises? Because I've heard this lore, but I've never seen <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm dead. I want to see one in real I life. I read it in the books. Dude, I've only the heard about it. The old fables, I but Look at this. My, yeah, yeah. Estimates vary, but studies have shown that 0.6% of men worldwide, that's insanely low. So one in every 10,000 births. I, Maybe you don't know what a micro penis looks dude, like. I'm telling you. You would look at mine and go, that's a micro penis, but that's, no, I don't no, think no, I have dude, one. Just bring up a photo. I, yeah, yeah. I did. Here, 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 dude, I don't even need to see a photo because this is what I will describe to you. Okay. Like the fucking dude, uh, the, like I, you know a light switch where, where you yeah. click the light switch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm talking about the size <laughs> of a goddamn light switch. I saw some shit like a this. A real penis. Like, like, like where, where it's down, where, like once, it, like once it, it just pops up like a light switch. Let me, can I ask you something? Could it have been a clip? No. Could it have been a clip? Tiny fucking wieners. Because I always considered myself. Is that micro? No, that's regular. Okay, thank you. That's regular. I, I always considered myself pretty normal. Thank you. Yeah. You know, or average. I would say, you know, average. <laughs> yeah. I came out of that pube party thinking that I am fucking gargantuan. Packing. Yeah, you got a big wow. old penis compared to those guys. Well, can I just say that you are a celebrity and maybe they were nervous? Oh, yeah, maybe they got a little scared. Yeah, oh, it's fuck it, Steve-O's it, looking at my dick and then it just shrunk up. I'm talking about like fucking pinky topped it, top, like like last knuckle. Oh, wow. This poor guy. I saw, I saw, I saw pinky, the, the fucking, the outer edge knuckle. How was the their finger. disposition? Were these guys happy guys? I mean, dude, they seemed actually totally happy. You know what? That's just proof. It doesn't proof matter. It doesn't matter if you have a tiny penis. Yeah. You can still be a happy guy. I don't know. I don't think so. These guys got to hang out with Steve and show yeah, them. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 if I had one, I, 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 I. Do you I, think I, statistically men are sadder with smaller penises? I think so. So you think sad people just have small penises? So when you say I, I, sad I, I, guys, small, small is one thing, right? Because I, I go to the Wii Spa and I look at the black men. <laughs> no, man, they're man, just man. there. I see. I look at the black men there. Sure, go and on. I I give them a nod that says congrats. No, it's <laughs> more of a like whoa, like if, as if you're seeing Kanye. Neat. <clears throat> yeah. No, like whoa, whoa, you're here. You know what I mean? And I've seen, you know what I mean? But I've seen a couple of dudes with really small ones. Right? You don't look them in the eye. I don't. Not only don't, don't I look them in the eye, I kind of like avoid them. You spit in, in that way. I don't. Yeah. Spit right at their little no, I, dicks. I do a chogi. You know what I mean? I, I spit, no, my point is, is that there is a disrespect there for small penises. Yeah. And now, if they were like a little man, and they had a micro, I'd be allowed oh, proportionally. But I, I've seen bigger dudes with mics. Aww. Little mics, and it it just with I, mics. Big guys, little, little, mics. little mics. How do you guys feel about the Roe versus Wade? Ah oh, man, <laughs> we're really hitting all the key marks on this show. I uh, you mean so we could just get away from fucking? Okay, you know I mean? I, you, you want to know my? I, I have an unpopular opinion. What? I'm not pro-choice or pro-life. I'm pro-abortion because let me qualify this. Okay. okay. I believe <laughs> that there are some people who just should not be fucking allowed to have kids. Straight up. Oh, okay. I, I think this. that it's absurd that <clears throat> that you have to get a license to drive a car, to catch a fucking fish. You have to get a license. Yeah. But any 
asshole can uh, create a human being, become a parent. And I. Okay, let me. I'll give, you, I'll give you a scenario, right? Let's say Andrew and I. I'm a woman, right? <laughs> I'll be the woman in the scenario. He's the guy. Of We're course. both married, yeah. right? Right. And you're the. You know what I mean? The person that we're at the government or wherever, right? That's you know interviewing us yeah, yeah. to see if we kind of like when kind of like when you go to the DMV, you got a test drive. You do, right. Do so we, like, we're coming yeah. in. Hi, hi. My name is Kyoko. Yeah. I'm Kyoko um, Santino. This is my husband Andrew Santino. Hey, this is me and my wife. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ask us some questions because well, we want to have baby. I, I think that <laughs> like 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 what should be the the benchmark for for getting licensed to become a parent. I think that- You're supposed uh, to ask us a question. We're in a scenario here, Steve. <laughs> I mean, I think that you, that you should have to uh, pass a course in developmental psychology. Okay. Because- uh, <laughs> Because- you're, you're telling us the characters in this scenario or you're just telling- I, 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 I'm this? just saying- uh, like, yeah, in, as, general, as in general, in general. Yeah, yeah. I think that people are, uh, pe people are, are ignorant of- um, of the different stages of developmental psychology in ways that really harm their their children in a long long term. Yeah, yeah one yeah. of the few things I remember from 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 the university yeah. when I was at the University of Miami, I remember like learning Piaget's this this uh, philosopher guy, yeah. remember this psychologist, the, the, his uh, developmental psychology, and 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 he he pinned it down to like a where okay, babies uh, just come home. Right, like newborn baby, it's in the crib and it's crying. Like there's there's a, a, a philosophy. Like I'm not gonna come and so that every time the baby cries and like like the, let the, let him feel like teach my baby that that the crying gets you somewhere. Right, you know. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That's my that was my dad by the way did that to me. He said fucking cry all you want, bitch. You know. But to hear <laughs> that that what that. Well, so you're not allowed to have a baby cry. What? Well, they, because the, the baby doesn't know about the world, right? It it it's feel, it feels upset. It feels sad. It's scared. It's crying. Its and, response and, is if you pick it up every time it cries. The the, the, the not theory coming. is that it wouldn't understand. That it thinks that that's how it gets everything it needs if it cries. Well, right. But the, but the reality is, according to you Piaget, could just be, yeah, is that. <laughs> That 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 the, the the baby learns about the world, kid. Like uh, I I need comfort. I'm scared. The world doesn't fucking care about me, you know. Like, and this is uh, where deviance is. It, 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 it starts now. Then then the, the next thing I remember, you know, it's like if the world doesn't give about a fuck about me, I don't give a fuck about the world. Yeah, fuck, fuck everybody. Yeah, that that that, that starts rebellion. In, that starts in the in the crib. When, like whether and how you handle the baby crying, then when you get so to, what are you supposed to do? Just, I, 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 I think you're supposed to come and, and comfort it. Like hey, you know, it's if the baby's right. crying, you comfort it. Yeah, I is think that that's what you're important. saying? I think that that's what and, I remember. And, and, all right, so when you were crying, you weren't comforted. Correct. And your dad went fuck the baby, let him cry. Right, and and I'm deviant as all hell. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to learn not to have one of you. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. All right. So because if you don't do that, then you're gonna have a fucking baby. In the sky, jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> you know what right. I mean? So okay. but, I mean, it, it there's it a lot sense. of ways of thought. It, 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 it makes it, sense, it, it, yeah. and and I I remember being particularly fascinated by this. <laughs> there, there there was a uh, with with potty training, right? The, the baby, you know, like the the there's a. a, a position you can take that like oh that's bad i'm gonna fucking tell you that you just fucking did something wrong that that's bad and we're gonna we're gonna teach you the right way and that's not it well in the baby's mind that they, they, they did nothing like nothing wrong right like yeah. it's, it's a perfectly natural thing and now i'm being scolded for for um, pooping and peeing where like i can't help that and so this is where insecurity can come from no matter what i do no matter what I do, so you just let them shit and pee wherever they want. I, 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 I yep. don't know. See, no, I'm, I'm asking you. I'm not. I'm not a fucking parent. But I'm thinking this, this, is, this is something that people should. should he didn't be. get a license. Yeah. yeah, he didn't get a license. This is something yet. you know. But that is interesting. So if you scold the baby for shitting and pooing, then it's like it, 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 then you know it, it, it creates insecurity. The way, like, yeah, the world's not fair. You know, I didn't like. Uh, I, I, I'm being punished for something that I like have no control over. It's perfect, like you know. So just let them go like, free. It, 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 no matter no, no matter if I do the right thing or the wrong thing, the world's gonna fucking shit on me. It's gonna p punish me, and and the world's not fair. And 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 so like what so, do I do? So you hold the baby <laughs> when it's crying. We're learning. You right? hold the baby when it's crying, right? Mm -hmm. 
If it shits and pee, you just let him go. Just free. let it shit and piss. Yeah, I got it, a it What about if he steals the toys from other kids? What do you do? <laughs> you don't. You don't let him. You you say no. Right? I, 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 I just assume you would say no. I, I don't remember that from. Uh, but the, no, I'm just asking you what you think. What do you think? If the kid, if, 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 the, if your child, if your kid right is stealing a, a toy from another kid, what does Steve O do? And let's be real. Um, Steve O's kid steals a toy from another kid. Yeah. What do you do? What does Steve O do? What does Steve O do? Fuck, man. I. I uh, See, like this is this is too heavy. That's why I got a vasectomy. I can't deal with this. <laughs> That's why I got a vasectomy. What would you do? Well, because you wouldn't get the license then. Well, I think I, I fucking I I shoot blanks, dude. I I, I cut right. my vast deference. Yeah, if yeah. my kid steals another kid's yeah, toy, yeah, I'm the other father. Hey, man, your your kid just st we're at preschool. Can they watch? What is there a window where we watch? Or yeah, we're watching. Yeah, we're looking out through a fucking two one-way mirror. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, it's like, yeah, it's like a, yeah, it's yeah. like the feds. We're yeah, investigating yeah, yeah, yeah. Our so own we're fucking... in that one-way mirror. Yeah, yo, dude, I just saw your kid uh, steal a toy from my my kid. No, no shit. Yeah, what kind of toy? What did he steal? Tonka. Oh, Tonka truck. Yeah, Tonka truck. Yeah, he loves Tonka truck. Yeah. So that's what you would do. Do you have kids, Andrew? <laughs> no, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you mean? I'm not. The, yeah, I, yeah. That's yeah. He loves those trucks. Yeah, you're not gonna. What's that? Steal, just tell, 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 scold your kid. Hey, buddy. Is that your truck? It's his, right? Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you would you do? You got to take what you want in this world. And don't let these little fucking Asian pieces of shit. <laughs> right, so you're teaching him two things, two right? Things. I take what I want and that racism. And start Asian hate. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So you're teaching two things. I like that. Nah, yeah. what if your kid, if your kid does something wrong? Tommy, Tommy, don't. No, no. I would add to that. That's what you would do? Tommy, Tommy, don't, no, no? <laughs> yeah. Go, Tommy, Tommy, don't, no, no. Right? Tommy, Tommy, don't, no, no. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, don't, no, no. Oh, right? oh Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, don't, no, no. Hey, and hey, I, would, hey. I would probably go to the other baby. I'm sorry. I would, oh. I, I would always have to have a, some sort of accent, probably. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right? And I would bring it back, give it back to the kid. You give him the toy back. Right? And Tommy, now we don't, no, no. <laughs> right? right? Tommy, my son, right? Tommy, yeah. why not? Why not? Right? That's right. Why not? <laughs> and I would have to come to you and call you probably. Yeah. Why not? I go let him steal the toy. Yeah, and it. I'll bring yeah. it back to Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy, don't. Yes, yes, yes. Tommy, yes. Tommy, don't. No, no. Yeah, yeah. But to Tommy, Tommy yes, 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 yes. A lot of yeses for Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think there's no right way to fucking parent. It's got to be a fucking nightmare. It's yeah, a total darling. fucking it's a total fucking nightmare. All of our parents fucked up with all of us. <sighs> Nobody in this room had parents that didn't fuck up. The point is everyone's gonna fuck up. You want to promote anything, Steve? <laughs> Do I want to promote anything? Um, the tour you're touring right now. Yeah, you? I saw your I'm fucking touring, dates. Touring my dick off. Um, <laughs> when are you done? <laughs> um, it depends. I, I I'm not sure. My my I, I have dates booked through. Like fuck, man! I think November. I don't think they're all announced yet, but uh, I've got dates into November. Go to Steve's website and check that out. Yeah, fucking go there's see a him. Good chance I'm coming near you with skyjacking. With skyjacking, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, if you ever, when you get married, we'd love to, if you want to invite us. We'd love to come. I did. Yeah, no, that's so much. But don't do that. I, I, would, I would love to have you. No, because that's I never nice. get. No, here's what. No, fuck you. Because I, I, I never get invited to those things. To weddings? Yeah. So now I want to just tell them I'm willing to come. You just went to a bunch. I know. I know. And I want. I like them. I, uh, <laughs> so what do you mean you don't get invited? You literally just went to. And two. I want to go to his too. Okay. What, what's up? Uh, so you do get invited. We are planning on recently getting married yes. in Canada. What? In Canada. We are planning on getting married in. And Canada. I love to go to Canada. Okay. Go check it out. Where in Canada? Uh, British Columbia. Yeah, Vancouver or. Uh, well, um, no. I would say about an hour east of Vancouver. Can you make it? Yeah, I would love to go. <laughs> She's far. Jules, would you like to go? I don't have a visa. <laughs> I think uh, we've missed you so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first episode back, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have that. We, we never asked her a lot of questions, but we'll next one. Well, well, Jules, do you want to talk about your experience about going to the Philippines? Do you want to say anything that you were? were you ha I saw you post a picture of you underneath a waterfall, or yeah. swimming at a waterfall. Remember, we looked at it on, on the, the show. Lake. She was just on a lake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I was just drunk the whole week, so. And she just... saw her sister. Yeah. She has oh. a sister. She almost came out here. So Isa, Isa, but her 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 um passport was uh expired. Expired. <laughs> I know. I was getting it. 
yeah. I was getting there. <laughs> and she, so she was going to come here for three or four months. She couldn't come. Yeah. And when she was leaving from the airport, Issa cried. They both cried. <laughs> oh, yeah. you cried. Yeah. yeah. You never cry. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I guess like kind of miss them oh no yeah, you're starting yeah. to feel feelings yeah 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 <laughs> and she came back into town her boyfriend picked her up mm. yeah what did he say when he saw you i missed you so much yeah but we didn't fuck you didn't <laughs> fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> why not they haven't fucked yet he's a virgin oh shit, oh, shit. does yeah. he think you're a virgin no <laughs> he knows what? um so that means that you guys can do like everything except actually <laughs> yeah. yeah but wait a minute have you talked about has he does have you talked about losing his virginity to you he wants to i guess <laughs> but he's scared he's scared mm. yeah what can we do to help him <laughs> well, we'll see him tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow. Should, <laughs> should we, we give him, him a pep talk? Talk? We'll do a pep talk how old is he well he's 20 yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i think he's on the right track what do you mean I, I, I mean, <laughs> in the words of my good buddy, Chris Pontius, who just gave this advice to a, a high school graduate, just uh -huh. graduated. He said, remember, a vagina is no place for semen. That's Very a fact. Okay. Write that down. Write that That's down. We're going to make a plan. <laughs> okay. Let's make a plan. A vagina is yeah. no place for, for semen. semen. Yeah. And I agree with that. Yeah, keep I agree keep with your that. cum out of these vaginas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, might as well just leave the dick out. Leave the dick out. Yeah. Right. No dick. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> Say, I got it. I got it. Say, no dick. No dick. No dick. Also, he, he's never done it before. He's going to come in two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Right. Why? Because when guys have sex for the first time, it's a sensation that they've never felt before. Never felt before. And, right. it's, and, it's, and it's the magnitude is indescribable. It's... You've tried it? Fucking? <laughs> no. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, we both fucked. No, like coming in three seconds. Have I tried coming in? No, no, nobody tries. Yeah, yeah, nobody tries to do it. It just happens. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, well, look, Steve. Well, Steve, can you look in the camera because we have a closing statement? Okay, good, good, good. And say thank you for being a bad friend. Yeah. <clears throat> um, thank you for being a bad friend. Very. That's probably the best one. Best one we've had. Yeah. I, would, I, well, I, I, I think it. you are a, I think you would be a great clown yeah, I you think you thank would, you I think you would be a fantastic clown I think you're uh, a, a the wonderful first famous Asian clown first yeah. Asian clown the first famous Asian clown what's yeah. your clown name oh yeah what was your name and what well was your... I was Steve-O the clown oh okay yeah that works and, and, and... nip nip is that too nip nip <laughs> is that <laughs> Nippy the clown. Yeah, Nippy the right, clown. Right, and, you, right, and there's right. holes cut out over your nipples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nipsey Hustle. Nipsey the Nipsey clown. Nipsey Hustle. Rest in peace. God bless. Yeah, Rest yeah. in peace. Nipsey Let's Hustle. not talk about the dead. Rest in peace. Yeah. Nippy the clown. Nippy the clown. <laughs> That's fine. And your nips are out. So if someone's like, "That's racist," you're like, "It's about my tits. My nipples are yeah, out." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nippy the clown. Yeah. And you squirt. Yeah, yeah. Milk comes out of your little titties. Yeah. Nippy. The and clown. I wear like a little armor. I say, and my tagline was like. There's a chink in my arm. <laughs> no, there's an ar there's a yeah. <laughs> it's something like, there's a chink right and they go, that's racist. You go, no, that there I haven't wearing armor. It's an armor. There's a little bit of a dent. <laughs> Is that what chink means? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, you, you have uh, stumbled on a pun. Yeah, what what's your you clown have, what's, your, what's your clown name? Uh you wouldn't even have to change your hair. You're already, it's already red. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I was in clown college, they said that that um we are proud of our art. We don't um, insult our art by coming up with with stupid names like Snuggles or or things like. We use our names because we're proud of who we are and the art that we perform. Oh, so I'm Bobby the Clown. And I said, I said <laughs> is that I what said, you're saying? Bob, said, Bobby the Clown. Then? Yeah, that's why I was Steve O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, Steve O. And you're Andrew the Clown. Andrew O. And, well, Andrew. It would be like Andrew Santino. The, the clown. Andrew Santino yeah, the Clown. Would be Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Lee the Clown. Bobby Lee the Clown. Yeah. It doesn't have a ring to it. B. Lee. How about B. Lee? You could be B. Lee the clown. B. Lee the clown. Yeah. Yeah.